Hey, this is Chris from Mission Capital, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how I build a cash flow sweep into operating models. So, first off, what is a cash flow sweep? You can see I've got the section built up here. The cash flow sweep is designed to tell us okay, if the business has enough cash, let's pay down some of our debt. But if it doesn't have enough cash, then we need to borrow from our debt to support the operations of the business. And so, what I've got here is a section that basically says, in my business, I want to make sure there's at least 500,000 of minimum cash. But to the extent that I have any excess cash, I want to take all of it and sweep it to pay down my debt. So let's just walk through an example here. So I've got May of 27. And you can see here my beginning cash is the 500 that I had in the bank. And then I'm going to strip out my minimum because I want 500. And then I've got my cash from operations, which is what the business generates, less the cash from investing, which is typically capital expenditures. And then I have some cash left over for mandatory debt repayment, and that would be like making principal payments on debt. And you can see I've got some of that out here in the future. But what it tells me is my cash available for discretionary paydown, or in other words, my cash available to sweep is here, 276 in this month. And so my cash flow sweep says, okay, well, I want to pay 100% of all of this excess down to my debt. So you can see it here. 100% of that, the 276, comes out of the business, and it actually flows down here to the revolver. This is where I have a revolver schedule. Revolver is like a giant credit card for a business. The 276 reduces the debt balance, reduces my interest expense. At the end of the day, you can see no matter what, the business still keeps the 500 in cash. So let's just fast forward a few months. You can see I'm paying off debt each and every month. And then out here in September, it looks like I actually have a little bit of a shortfall. I have a principal payment coming up that I have to meet, and I'm just not generating enough cash in the operations. So in this month, my sweep actually says, you know what, I'm 111 short. I need to borrow that to get me back to the 500. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to borrow the 111. It comes here from my revolver, again, the giant credit card. You can see the balance has gone from 816 to 927, which is going to increase my interest expense going forward a little bit. But now my business still has the 500 of minimum cash. And so the nice thing about this cash flow sweep is I can change the assumptions as needed. Let's just say in the future, you know, I don't need 500 minimum. I just need 250. Well, I can change that, and it's going to change my cash flow sweep and keep the minimum at whatever I specify. By that same token, if I don't want to pay down debt quite as aggressively because I want to avoid a draw like this in the future, I could say, you know what, let me pay down just half of that, 50%, and you can see a lot more cash stays in the business. And so this is sort of the beauty of building out a cash flow sweep. As you're projecting a forecast, usually in a private equity or FP&A setting, you can make your model say, you know what, based on our operations, which are going to be in the future, we want to keep a minimum cash in the bank and also sweep to pay down our debt, and how is that going to affect our debt balances in the future. So that's how you build a cash flow sweep. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you in the next one.